Hi everyone, my name is Andrea. I recently decided I was just going to dive in and make my own Dollar Tree haul channel. Maybe as time goes on, add some other things. But I am obsessed with the Dollar Tree. I've been obsessed with it for years. I love finding, finding hidden gems there. I love watching Dollar Tree haul videos. And what really made me decide to just do my own channel and start this and start hauling it myself um, is because my husband, <laughs> I make him watch me go through my hauls and he started saying how fun it was to just kind of watch my excitement. Um, of course, he knows me personally, so it's probably fun for him. But I just find it really helpful when I watch other people's videos and see what they're using those items for, how to save money. I am a mother for... I just gave birth to my um, youngest son, um, the end of March, actually, he just turned two months old. And so we are a very, very busy household. I go through a lot of kid items and with the coronavirus and um, my oldest child, she's in first grade and not being in school, we were doing homeschool. I went through a lot of things for them, a lot of craft supplies, stuff like that. So I replenished that recently. And one of the first places I wanted to go to after I gave birth to my son was the Dollar Tree. I was so excited. I finally just got away the other day by myself for a little bit. You know, if you have a lot of children or even if you just have one child, child, child and as a new mother, it's kind of hard to get away from the baby because, you know, they, they need you a lot and they want you a lot. And um, especially if you're the primary one that can feed them, you know, it's very hard to get away. So anyway without talking and blabbing too much about who I am. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got because I thought I did really great on having not been there for a while and I am just so bummed about it. So I got some craft supplies for my children, which they love to paint, especially my daughter. She's seven. She will paint and create all day long and I was so excited about this find. I got all of these. I got actually seven of these and they are eight ounce bottles of paint, um, Prang brand. They are not Dollar Tree brand, um, but they're huge bottles and they're sturdy. And I got seven colors. I'll just go ahead and show you the colors I got. So I was super excited to find this because we go through paint and craft supplies so fast. My kids, I have two preschool age soon to be going into kindergarten and then my daughter is early elementary and then my baby within the next couple years, he's going to be doing the same thing. So I have so many things to keep up on in terms of um, just creativity and things like that. And so I'm always, always looking at what the Dollar Tree has when I go in for their little minds to stay active. I might actually use these myself for some projects. I am so excited to find these. And I actually did look these up on Amazon because I really, I never seen them before. And I believe when I looked it up, a pack of 12 of them was going for $30. And I just felt like I had won the jackpot because I got seven of them for $7 and 12 of them are going for 30. And I just felt like I won a lottery. <laughs> and to go with the paint, I got some paint brushes some bigger um, chunky brushes for my younger boys so they can't um, paint as quite precisely as my daughter can. And then I got these for her, the art brushes. She likes to paint on canvas and things like that. And this is, um, these brushes will give her a little bit more precision with that. And I'm really excited for her to try that. She was very excited and she really, really wanted to dive into these paints already. And I told her, just wait, I need to do something with them. I didn't tell her that I was going to be hauling them, but, um, because she really wants her own YouTube channel and that's something I might be working on soon. But I think if she knew I was doing my own YouTube channel before she did, she would probably not like that too much. So, <laughs> Um, we'll put that aside for now. Another find I got for the kids, which I was really excited for, were these bottles. They are the official Crazy Straw Sports Bottle. And you can see the straw kind of goes all the way around it. Super awesome. I got two of the blue and one of the, it's kind of like a light purple. 
in my camera it looks kind of pink but it's light purple and the kids have really been wanting to use these two so I figured I better get this video done but I don't think no this isn't this isn't a Dollar Tree company either at least I've never seen them there before but anyway this looks so fun perfect to stock our camper with and for them to use these outside in the summertime I like anything with a lid if I were to take them or let them take, you know, water or drinks in the car also, I prefer them to have these because as you know, if you have kids, they spill everything constantly. So these are so cute. I'm excited. The next thing was something, next two things I should say was something for myself, which I was very happy to find. This is the Dermasil Facial Scrub. I actually only tried this recently because I was kind of in a pinch and I didn't have my normal stuff and I was at the Dollar Tree and I was like okay I'll try it I picked it up and I was so shocked I was pleasantly surprised I don't typically buy facial products from the Dollar Tree but it's kind of something I've started to try a little bit more of lately because I was so shocked by this and it it works it it takes my makeup off for the good it's not too harsh so I picked up another one because I I actually can only find this at one of my Dollar Trees. There's two in my area that I go to often, and both of them kind of heavily stock different items. So depending on what I need, that's how I'll choose which one I'm going to go to. But this one is only at one of them I go to. I've been looking for it the other place. They don't have it. So each time I go, I think I'm just going to pick one of these up if I see it because I love this stuff. It's so good. This was something so fun, silicone brush cleaner. And this wasn't even in the makeup aisle there or the makeup section. I just happened to look down. I think I was actually looking for some fun socks for my kids, which I didn't end up finding any that day. Not that they really needed. I was looking for something specific. They didn't have it. But anyway, I looked down. I saw these. They had um, a diamond, a diamond shape that was kind of like a purpley color. They had a unicorn and then they had the pineapple. And the reason I went with this one, because I don't have a, a good brush cleaner right now and I've been using like my hands and stuff anyway, and I do my makeup quite often and I'm like, I really need to get one of these. So I got this one just because it seemed to have the biggest area to use. I liked that a lot. I liked that it seemed like it can clean even my bigger brushes with out having to maneuver it too much so I'm really excited to try this out and I thought it was super cute and perfect for summer so I will get back to you on how that went or maybe some of you already have this and know how it went how it goes how it works all that good stuff but I'm excited for this one too and it's also so pretty I love yellow um, along with the personal care items when I'm there I usually grab my husband some deodorants or antiperspirant deodorants I buy these he likes these so every time I'm there I grab a couple especially since um, when we were kind of on lockdown and that I know our Dollar Trees in the area were open but I really couldn't get out for one I just had given birth to my child via c-section I've had multiple c-sections so my recovery is kind of hard I didn't go anywhere I didn't want to risk getting sick and I didn't really also need anything so I didn't go to the Dollar Tree for two months so I I got kind of low on my stock of things, so each time I go, I think I'm just going to try to replenish that from now on. I'm still not going out a ton, definitely using safety and smart choices, but I did need some things, and I figured it might um, not hurt to, to sneak in there when I can, especially being that it's not a huge store, and there's the when I went, I went at a time where it's not very populated, either um, early in the morning, and I want another time later in the evening so it was pretty dead and that made me feel a lot more comfortable um and then I also decided to try these for myself I don't really like the powdery smells and I needed some more deodorant I just don't like the the baby powdery florally stuff so anyway I tried this I smelled this when I was in the store and it just says the the scent is fresh and it has a very unisex scent it doesn't smell overly womanly or even manly but I, I think it could really work for both a man or a woman and actually when I was showing all the what all of what I purchased to my husband he smelled it and he actually wants to try it too so next time I go back I'm gonna grab a couple of these because 
Um, he is like, I love the way that smells and I wouldn't try that. So we're just going to have to, you know, mark who's is who's, but so it works either way. And I've never tried it. And I'm excited. I hope it works. He made a good point though, because it says good for 48 hours. And I mean, I don't really know why you would need deodorant to last 48 hours unless you weren't in a space that had like a shower or something. But apparently if you need to go without a shower, it's going to protect you for like two days. So it's good to know that. Um, the next thing I found, it was super cute. Um, dog treats. They're gourmet. Gourmet. I'm choking on my words here, people. Gourmet dog treats. And this is not a Dollar Tree brand either. It says it's from um, Fopper, Fopper's Gourmet Pet Treat Bakery. And that is in Logansport, Indiana. Made in the USA. So they look like they were made some for some place specifically. And I got them because they were just really cute. They look like actual cookies. And so I haven't tried them. I do have two dogs decided to pick these up for them so we'll see how they like them the funny thing is two of my children could not read and they came and asked me <laughs> if they could try these and i had to let them know that they are for dogs but i'm very glad they asked me <laughs> because they might have been very um unhappy with what they tasted or you never know they might have actually really liked it and probably ate the whole thing and not realized that they were dog treats so I'm very happy that they didn't do that <laughs> so but anyway I loved finding this because one of my favorite things about going to the dog tree is always being able to find those little gems that um are random to the store you know that you probably won't find again but it feels kind of like a golden ticket to be there and find it because you know it was probably a lot more um initially value cost wise so and you get it for a dollar so that's my best that's my uh my best highlight so going to the dollar tree the things i've gotten for really really inexpensive that you know retailed for a whole bunch more next thing i got was also for my dogs i recently started trying these um dog filled dog bones and i got some bacon flavor and the chicken flavor and these are also made in the usa which i was really um hesitant at first because we only really like to give our dogs things that are made in the usa because there's so, been so many recalls and stuff with other brands that we just get kind of nervous and we want to make sure we're, we're treating our dogs well and they're not eating any anything scary you know what i mean so anyway it made me feel better that these are made in the usa and they love these um it's just a nice snack for them to have and it has the ingredients in there and this is actually a dollar tree brand it's from um green briar kennel club but i was also very pleasantly sur surprised by this just because in other stores, they're so much more expensive. And I was just trying to think, I didn't mean to pause out on you, but I was just trying to think of how much they are in other stores. But either way, they're, they're a couple times more the price. I would say a lot of them go three, four dollars. So I was really happy. And I, every time I'm there, I grab a whole handful and I'm going to organize them soon. But I give them to my dogs, you know, a couple times a week and it makes them very happy. The next thing I got was also for my kids. Um, for summertime outdoor stuff. I've never used the Dollar Tree sunblock, but I was gonna give it a shot because the small size, I figured it would be perfect just to throw in my diaper bag or my purse for the summer in case I forget our bigger spray bottle or the bigger bottle. I just thought it would be nice to have something, you know, that travels easy as a kind of a backup. And I will try it. I don't know if I'm sure some of you other people have tried it. And I'm sure it works probably fine. Everything from a Dollar Tree usually works great. So I have no reservations about it. But I just, I really like the size of it. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. If it's garbage, doesn't work well, doesn't work well with my children's skin, I will, I'm not really out much. I'll just pitch it. Um, we will be, sorry, I keep bumping my camera. I don't have a good spot to film. So I, I, you know, snuck away from my kids for a few minutes while they're occupied to do this. And I actually have my phone sitting on a step stool, right? Or a, a footstool to one of my rocking chairs. And every time I bump it, it goes sideways. But it's what I have to do for now just to get started. So 
I'll find a better option for next time because I'm not going to redo this whole thing because if I get interrupted or if I have to start over, the video is not going to get done because if you have a lot of kids or young kids, you know how that goes. So, and I, that's actually not something I do often. Apparently being in front of a camera makes me, uh, try to be uncharacteristically charming. <laughs> not though. I'm awkward. <laughs> Anyway, we have a pool we're going to be putting up soon. I got these for my kids. They like the goggles. They like the smaller goggles, you know, the ones that go around your eyes. But for whatever reason, they break them all the time. Or they can't get them to fit right. Or they lose them. Anyway, I just thought these might be a better option. I've never bought them before from the Dollar Tree. But I thought these might be a more fun, better option just for them in their young ages to put them on themselves, not have so much trouble with it, and it might actually fit their faces better. So if anything, um, it's just, it might be something fun for them to try. And they were all really excited about it. So I know that this is going to be one of the first things that they use. They had, um, I got, I got, I think most of the colors they had, they might have had one more color, a blue one in these. I can't, I can't remember, but I got three different ones. That way everyone has one and there's no fighting. So that's that. I did get them some workbooks to so we can keep working on our schoolwork this summer. Like I said, um, I have a child. She's going into second grade, a child going into kindergarten, a child going into second year of preschool. And then, you know, the baby is just, you know, young in love and life. He doesn't really have to learn too much except for, you know, <laughs> just how to see better and interact right now. But soon enough, we'll be there. It goes fast. It does. I can't believe I even have so many kids almost in school. It's crazy. But I got... Um, a math readiness one and I think this one was for it says grades K through 1 ages 5 to 7 yeah I got these for my preschool aged kids for my um soon to be kindergartner and for my preschooler because it's just a lot of counting um I actually opened up to one of the pages it's a lot of counting stuff um you can see that you know writing numbers and that's perfect. That was really along the lines of stuff they were working on in preschool before my state closed down the schools. Um, this one, it's called Kindergarten Morning Starters. And it's an educational workbook. And I, I think a lot of it is, it's, it's both actually. I really like this one because for the small size, I remember opening it in the store and being like, oh my gosh, it was just full. It's just full of um, stuff on every page. There's so many activities and the whole book is like that. And I was so impressed. I got this and I was like, there's so many options of them to do, you know, counting, math, um, shapes some reading stuff, sight words, things like that. So I was so excited. I think they're going to really like that one. This is, I like this. This is cute. Learning or learn on the go alphabet book. And I like the little handle on it. It's super cute. This one was also for my um, kindergartner and preschooler. It's practicing letters, writing beginning sounds things like that and it goes through the whole thing it's the last page and then this one this is the last one I got it's learn on the go phonics this is for my daughter who's going to be in second grade um a lot of spelling words you know fill in the letters and as the book kind of goes on the words do get a little bit um more difficult and the their short vowels long vowel sounds this is something that she was working on the second half of the school year in school also we've been doing a lot of homeschool stuff with this so i figured this would be something for her i might go back and stock more and get more of these to stock my own um stuff just even for the camper so they have some activities to work on over the summer you know if they should decide they want to work on some school work or if they're just they need some downtime that's something that they can do i always always have wishful thinking with that and I'm always like oh my kids will you know sit and work on these things so great and you know you know how that goes but I'm hopeful and they will sit down and do these things at home but 
it looks like they will travel well because they're not super bulky they're thick and it would be something even for like long trips or, or things like that I don't believe because of all the circumstances we're not going to be taking an actual vacation this year but camping is something we still can do and you know do safely enough so I'm gonna be collecting a lot more things to stock our camping with this summer we're actually getting ready to take our first trip this weekend and I'm so excited I can't wait I need out so bad the weather's finally nice here oh I'm so excited and I'm almost done I got also for camping or summer whatever I need they have these big um canvas tote bags you can see and I got two gray and then one pink and I can store quite a few things in here just to easily pack up some things for the camper. I'm always needing a bag in the summertime because we just need to transport so many things for all of the activities that we do. So you can never go wrong. And they're so big too. That's the thing I like. I love the size of them, like just how big they are. And even my husband was like, thank you for getting some neutral colors. He was happy that I did that. He was really happy that I did that. Um, sorry, I don't mean to repeat myself. I'm just a little nervous yet. <laughs> I'll get better, I promise. And then the very last thing, last two things, I got some antibacterial wet wipes from Personal Care, and the scent is Refreshing Waterfall. There's 40 pre-moist and antibacterial wipes. Now, the thing about these is that they are made with benzalkonium chloride, which is an antiseptic. It's not alcohol. Basically, these are the same things as wet wipes. Um, and I have read that in terms of, you know, coronavirus, stuff like that, alcohol is the much better bet than, than this active ingredient. However, this is still very helpful to have for my kids to stock in the summertime, the diaper bag camper, especially because they are so antibacterial. Regular baby wipes are not. So I feel better having found these. I've never seen these before. I got six of them. I did. So... I haven't opened them to try them or anything, but I am very excited to have found these. If I go back and see more of these, I'll probably grab more, especially if I like them. But you cannot beat something that's antibacterial and will kill most germs. You know, it might not kill this new one, this new virus, but it will kill most everything else. So it's still a great find. Um, and when I checked, I was still looking for hand sanitizer and we had none I could not find it I was kind of bummed because I've seen other people haul it from their Dollar Trees and mine still was completely out I'm in Ohio by the way and they just didn't have it I have been able to find other places order it some I'm not short on hand sanitizer but I'm nervous if they don't stock it soon I might be but we'll see I know I'm probably not the only one and then this other find that I got was Huggies Baby Wipes. There's 40 in here. And this is actually a pretty good size container because the regular size packs of baby wipes, and this is the same kind I do use. I use the Huggies Simply Clean. A pack of 64 is a couple of dollars. So this was a good find because I like the smaller size. It's good to um, stock like my travel container with, and I don't have to open a huge one or rip that open. I just, I was so ecstatic to find actual Huggies brand, and these are the kind I like and the kind I use, because I've never seen Huggies baby wipes at my Dollar Tree ever either, so I was pumped. I also got six of these, just like the antibacterial wipes, and I was so excited if I see more of these, gonna grab more too, because it's just such a, a good deal. I can't, I can't beat that, so anyway, that's my haul for today. I am so sure I'm gonna be back again soon. I'm already planning my next trip because we are gonna be, like I said, headed out camping this weekend and there's gonna be some things I need to gather, things I need to stock, and a lot of those things I can grab at the Dollar Tree. And as always, mama needs a break. So anyway, it was good to see you guys. I will be back with more. Bye!